Oh, wait a minute. I wasn't ready. <laughs> well, hi. <laughs> I just did a video on uh, my luxury luggage and this is a what's in my travel bag video. This is the travel bag I take everywhere with me. This closes up if I want it to. Or you can open it and pull the handle out. This is a Dooney and Brooke rolling luggage. Uh, rolling duffel bag, which I love because if you travel in Europe and they have cobblestone streets or if you're in South America and it's like a lot of dirt, you can't really roll your luggage. You have to kind of carry it. So it's just two for one. Love it. Okay. So what's in my bag? I have two bags. I have one for the winter and one for the summer. I don't really go to winter cold places. Why? <laughs> um, unless it's like, like I want to go to see the Northern Lights. So I would do that in the winter, you know, and I'm also going to visit my friend in Poland. Um, so I'll do that at the same time, but that's the only time I'm going to go to a cold place. And then when I go to Antarctica, that's it. Other than that, I have no desire to ever visit a cold place. So this one is ready to go. Right off the bat, I have a pocketbook. This is what I carry 99% of the time I travel. I love it. It is full leather. It's Joe Malone. Um... It just looks very ethnic and cute and chic. It has a strap. I don't think they make this anymore. And then in the middle, it has two zipper compartments that separate the bag. So you could put tons of stuff in there. I have a pair of headphones in there for the plane. <laughs> and then some shampoo. <laughs> Random. <laughs> it's like, okay. And then I always have a rhinestone hair clip on almost all of my bags, um, just so that like, if it gets hot, you wanna put your hair up and it has like a magnetic closure. So this is my travel bag. I always carry this in this bag. My mom just gave me this bathing suit. So I have this bathing suit. She literally just gave it to me like less than a week ago. Um, I always carry this shirt because every time I wear it, people say it looks great on me. It's super lightweight. It's from Venetia. Like the Chubby Girl store. And then I pack this dress. I'm probably never going to wear it as a dress. I think this is, I'm going to wear this as like a nightgown when it's like, I would never wear this as a dress. So I guess this is my nightgown. So what happens with a travel bag is it's packed. So all I need to do is pack my clothes and possibly underwear. I forgot underwear on a trip once. And I'm a big girl and I was in South America. It's hard to find underwear. This is for uh, usually shoes. It's like a Tory Burke bag. So I put my shoes or my dirty laundry in there. Sometimes it depends. Um, this is just a pair of socks. I cannot sleep at night without socks. I will get sick. I have my makeup brushes. My international charger. Like it's a converter. Tampons. I don't know why I don't use them. Oh, if I want to go swimming because it's a hot place. Um, a bunch of like little Ralph Lauren socks. I actually bought these in Morocco. I doubt they're real. <laughs> I was like, but they're very thick, high quality. Like they feel super luxe. They probably are real. They're probably just made there and they were selling them, but they're very, 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 th like you could see it. Like they're super thick. Not like those cheap $5 stores. These are the cheap airplane socks that they give you. <laughs> I keep those again to sleep at night. Um, this is a little wristlet that I always carry with me in case I just want to go out with my friends at night. It fits my phone perfectly. It's Coach. I remember oh, when I first started working at the jewelry company, I bought a bunch of these little Coach wristlets because those were the only like luxury things I could afford at the time. They were like $58, $100. Um, but I was just so proud of myself. Like I'm an adult and I'm buying my own stuff. This is another coach wristlet. Mind you, these things are like, when did I work here? 2006 to 2009. They're old, They're like 13 years old, but I take care of my stuff, you know? So everything lasts a long time. And this one, another cute wristlet. This is just a plain black bag in case I do go out and I have more stuff. It's a, clutch or a crossbody and another rhinestone hair clip they're everywhere the rhinestone hair clips then there's uh, my beats headphones i think these are the lady gaga ones yeah the lady gaga ones with music so my thing and then the charger 
So whenever I travel, I want to listen to my music. Everything's on here. I actually, let me keep this out because I have to add new stuff to it. Then this is an Old Navy shirt. Obviously, I haven't worn it yet, but it's a sleeveless button down. It looks really pretty. Um, so I buy a lot of these Old Navy things off season. So in the summer, I'll buy my long sleeve t-shirts because they're on sale because it's summer. And in September, I start buying all of the summer shirts because they're trying to get rid of them. So I'll get them for like $5. You know, this is, oh my God, so, so good. Josie Marin is my favorite body lotion for my feet, whipped argan oil. Um, and this one is fresh orchid, what is it? Tropical orchid. I mean, this isn't my favorite scent. My favorite's apricot or peach, but I figured I'd put that in my travel bag. This is the only deodorant that works for me, degree. It's like body heat activated and I love it. This is again, another set of like, for the airplane they have like the two prong set so if i if i remember on a plane and they make you buy them i'm like no thank you uh detangling comb what is this redkin for curls my toothbrush a fan in case it's too hot i bought this in madrid when i went in 2006 Six or seven or eight. I don't know. It was like right after a really bad breakup. Me and my friend both broke up with our boyfriends respectively. And we're like, we have to do more for stuff for ourselves. We did everything for these guys. And we, you know, like it still didn't work out. What do you want to do? I want to go here. So we named all the cities we wanted to go to. We planned a trip. The next week, we bought plane tickets. I booked all the hotels. And the, we stayed in hostels in like one hotel. Um... And I booked all the entertainment. My friend booked the plane tickets. And then I think we each respectively bought our own. Um, no. And then we bought the transfers. Because we went to Madrid, Barcelona, Ibiza, Paris, and Amsterdam. That's what we came up with. That was like the coolest trip ever. 2007, I think it was. This is everything in here. Like this, this is from Bloomingdale's. I used to have like this makeup thing. A girl from the jewelry company gave it to us for Christmas because her husband worked at Bloomingdale's and it was like this case that had two of these and these were velcroed in and then it had like an open place for your makeup and in here I don't want to take everything out I have it's a carry lotion bottle but it's not really carry lotion I just refill it then there's philosophy amazing grace shampoo um bubble bath body wash then there's more uh there's a lipstick a travel size perfume Cure C by Borghese, which I bring everywhere with me when I travel. Another Cure C by Borghese. Um, I think that's Cetaphil, like a travel size wash. This is Dr. I don't know what his name is. I forgot. Super Smile. So Super Smile is what I use to brush my teeth. It's like a two piece system. And then one is an activator and one is a gel. And then these are like little mouth rinse ones that they whiten your teeth when you're out so after dinner you can just put some water in here shake it up put it in your mouth mm, rinse and it'll like keep your teeth white and it'll freshen your breath um this is a mini tooth paste and there's some q-tips and then i always have jewelry i always keep the coolest jewelry in here though and then a shower cap and then a face wash Another perfume, which is Juicy Couture. Uh, and in here I have jewelry. I've, I mean, I've never taken this out. This is only for traveling. I worked, I should replace this bag, but I'm not going to. So what I bring is these earrings. They're 18 karat gold. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Hoops. Oh man, I hope it didn't bend. Then there's um, these little CZ studs, but it's like 14 karat gold. I can't wear fake jewelry for too long. This is literally a $2 ring, I believe, from China that I bought way back in the days, like 20 years ago uh, on eBay. And it still looks good. It was literally $2, including shipping. And they were like 14 karat gold. And I was, you know, I was like, 
all right, I gotta see. But it was in 14 karat gold. It's, it's stamped 14 karat gold, but it sure is not 14 karat gold. But every time I wear it, people are like, that ring is so pretty. You know, it's $2. Mind you, this was a long time ago. Now the rings on Amazon are like $10, but that was a $2 ring. So I keep it in there. Um, let me just put all this stuff back in here so that I can bend down and grab the piece that fell. Sorry. And then I always have maxi pads in my luggage in case I do have my period. Um, I like this one because it has like a little key ring holder, this bag. But I always have like a ton of maxi pads. There's more tampons, more maxi pads, more tampons. And oh, look, I do have underwear in here. Okay, good. Because I always, like if I, God forbid, I forget. So I have two underwear in here just to be sure. Oh, no, I have more than two. They're all brand new. They're all Victoria's Secrets. They were on sale. Um, and then a sewing kit. That's so important. You don't even realize how important that is. And yeah. Another rhinestone hair clip holder. I, 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 I really love those things. Let me just put this back. Okay. And let me put the earrings back. And then I have this other piece of jewelry, which I'm going to show you right now. Let me just put that down. And that's it. That's what's in my travel bag. Um, it is this necklace. And again, this is probably 14 karat gold. Hold on. I don't think I've ever worn it. This little pearl necklace with these little, well, this is 14 karat gold CZ. It's called Diamondique. They sell it on QVC. Um, we, we made a lot of jewelry for them. And these little pearls. Um, and then I have like the little earring backs because these fall out because they're the dangle ones that you just put on. So I put the earring backs on to keep them on. So it's these little earrings and this. So if I'm going out somewhere, I could just wear this little set. Otherwise I'd wear my casual things, which is the ring and the earrings. And then if it's just somewhere simple, then I wear the little CC studs. I always, always, always have this in my travel kit. Without fail, that's how I travel. Because if I forget something, at least I have the minimum. Um, oh, and then one more thing. Sorry, guys. And I'll put the links for that. They're like air pillows. Have you guys ever heard of that? Let me just show you right now. Oh, no, this doesn't go in there. These. They're in the front. I always take these with me because, you know, those people that wear like the big pillows, it's just so annoying. I can't. Um, so this is an air pillow and you float, you know, you put in air and then it works like a neck pillow. So whenever we're in the car or we're traveling, I can just do that. And then when I'm going to get off the plane, I take the air out and I don't have to carry that big thing with me. I don't like the way that looks. Um, and then I have it also in blue and in pink because whenever I, I wear it, people want to know like, where did you get one? Can I get one? Blah, blah, blah. And so I'll just sell it for like 10 or $15 every time I travel. I bought a bunch of them, like, like 20 of them. I probably have like six left. Um, so I always carry that. And then a bunch always in my little thing. I always have bobby pins always because I need bobby pins to make my hair look good. So that's what's in my travel bag. <laughs> Don't know if you found it entertaining or if it gave you any idea of what to pack. Um, I do have a big travel like rolly thing that has like all of my hair products and um, a bunch of other stuff. And what I do is when I go to travel, like I put that in my weekend bag. I put that in, I have a, a different thing for an overnight bag, but I put that in my weekend bag and I'll put it in like a week bag or I'll put it in this bag. So when I travel, I throw that in there and then I pack a bunch of dresses because dresses are the easiest things to pack. It's one piece. You fold it up tiny, you know, like in, into small pieces or you just like I put all my dresses on top of each other and then I fold it one time and I kind of roll it into this so that it doesn't get that many wrinkles. I know some people will do it military style, like the girl I travel with and she packs it small and she says it doesn't wrinkle. But I think it's better to just put everything on top of each other, fold it one time and then roll it and put it in here. Um, so like for a week I can pack 10 dresses and then you need always like a pair of pants if you're going to go hiking. So I like to use them Marmot, like quick dry pants, uh, and then a couple of tank tops cause you could wear those pants multiple times. And then in my carry on, so this could, could either be my carry on or it could be my luggage. They always try to, because it's soft, people are like, it's too big. And then I'm like, bring me the thing. 
And they're like, what? I'm like, bring me the thing. And then because it's soft and malleable, it fits always in that thing that they're like, oh, it has to fit to, you know, to fit on the plane. And I'm like, this is standard international or regular plane size. Like, but it looks big because it's a duffel bag. But the dimensions itself, because it's soft, you can squeeze it in there. You know what I mean? So I never have a problem when I travel. I just don't stuff it. I always leave room for it to wiggle and then I'm like bring the thing and then I stuff it in there and then I'm like I'm gonna go now <laughs> you know um because they always try to get me to pay for my luggage so that's what I like about the duffel bags um I know a lot of people like to carry the travel ones but again if you're traveling like I do and you need to carry your luggage with you because of the cobblestone streets or whatever you can't do that with a rolling duffel bag so I I like the rolling uh, a rolling a rolling luggage like a regular one so I like the rolling duffel for that reason. And again, it's malleable and you can fit a lot of stuff in there. Um, so yeah, when I travel, I'll bring like, I'll probably wear like one other bathing suit, if anything. I'll bring a cover up, like a, I have a silk sarong thing that I bought from Newport News a while ago. It's gorgeous. Um, it looks very luxe, like Hermes. And I'll bring that to the beach. Um, and then sometimes I'll bring one of those hats I don't have them out right now. I have them in a hat box. But you know, like those woven hats that everybody wears to the beach, the big wide ring hats. Um, I'll, I'll put that in my, my actual carry-on bag. And yeah, so it's like 10 to 14 dresses, one pair of pants, maybe one pair of jeans, bunch of tank tops, that top that you saw, um, and the rest are dresses because it's hot. And then I bring shorts because my thighs rub together and it hurts. So I have to always make sure to pack. I should actually put the shorts in there now. Um, always, I'm going to do that. I mean, mental note, write that down. <laughs> um, I always carry like two pairs of shorts with me. So I could wash one and let it dry overnight. And then I have another one. Um, but that's how I travel all the time. And I, I used to travel a lot. Not now after the car accident because I'm still healing and my body can't handle it. I tried traveling last year. I went to like Madrid, Sicily, and... Barcelona that was fun for two weeks in May and June um of 2019 but I don't have anything planned for this year because of everything that's going on um I was supposed to go to a wedding in Colombia but we're, there's no international travel now so I don't know what's gonna happen uh but yeah that's my life that's my travel bag hopefully you guys got some really cool tips really cool ideas for traveling and that's it bye